Hi everybody, I'm Sergio with Mobility Direct. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Thanks for stopping by in today's video. I'm gonna tell you about the all new redesigned Golden Companion four wheel model by Golden Technologies. But before we get started, let's cue into some awesome action shots. Welcome back. So before we get started with this video, like always, I do want to tell you about our free product catalog. Again, it's free. It has all of our latest products in it. It's got some coupon codes. And all you have to do is, if you want one, just go to our website, mobilitydirect.com. Click on the green button at the top of every page that says free catalog. Fill out the simple short form that you're seeing on the screen now, and you'll get one in the mail within one to two weeks tops. I also want to tell you that at the end of this video, I'm going to tell you about our giveaway. We give away a free mobility product once a month to a random subscriber of our YouTube channel. So stay tuned to the end. You're not going to want to miss out on that. All right, folks, so let's dive right into things. This is model GC440. By the way, I have a specification sheet and a brochure sheet here. It's going to tell you all about it. I have the link in the description of the video, but let's go ahead and talk about the specs, right? Most notably, it's going to have a 400 pound weight capacity. It's going to travel up to 19 miles on a full charge at a top speed of five miles per hour, which pretty much all the mobility scooters do about five miles per hour. Now the ground clearance is pretty impressive. It's 4.25 inches. So you're gonna be able to go over speed bumps and grass pretty well. It handles grass like a champ and it handles inclines very, very well. It can go up some steep inclines like you're seeing on the screen now. Now the turning radius, it's 56 inches. It's a four wheel model, so it's not gonna turn super sharp compared to a three wheel. There is a three wheel model available, which is gonna have a much sharper turning radius, and it's gonna basically have all the same specifications and features. Now it does come in a few different colors. This is the color blue, but it is available in a gray and a red. Now, like all Golden Technologies mobility scooters, it is gonna have automatic brakes. So you're not gonna have to hit a brake lever or a pedal or anything like that. You just let go of the throttle and it's gonna come to a complete stop. It does have a single-handed use throttle system. So you don't have to really use your right hand or your left hand, you can use either or, which is what's really nice about it. And we'll show you that in just a bit. Now, as far as the batteries go, it has two 12 volt batteries. They're 50 amp hours each. So they're pretty big, pretty heavy, but the unit does come apart if you wanna transport it in the trunk of your car. You're gonna need a pretty big trunk. Ideally, you'll have an SUV or a pickup truck. It does come apart, but I'll be honest, it's not a lightweight scooter. So you're gonna need some muscle to pick it up, even when it's taken apart, which you're seeing on the screen now. You can take it apart, the front half detaches from the rear half, the seat comes off, the front basket comes off, and the handlebar, AKA the tiller, is the technical term for this whole handlebar assembly. The tiller folds down as well. The basket that you're seeing on the back it's optional, it's a paid accessory, but it is awesome. You can go grocery shopping and load this thing up with groceries. We have done that already, so you can check it out on the screen now. Great for grocery shopping. It has a super comfortable seat, okay? This seat is 18 inches wide, and it's got some diamond stitching on it with the logo. Flip up armrests. Not only that, the armrests are with adjustable. The seat also does slide forward and back and it rotates 360 degrees. So if you wanna pull up to a table to have a bite to eat and you don't want the tiller assembly in your way, you can rotate the seat and you'll have the most comfortable seat at the restaurant in most cases. Okay, so that's a really convenient feature. Now it does have that rear basket attached in the back with the hitch receiver and that hitch receiver is universal. So if you wanna take it out and put a oxygen tank holder or a walker holder, crutch holder, cane holder, there's tons of accessories you can choose. And 
you know, for the most part, they're all going to be compatible regardless of what brand you go with. They all kind of fit. Now, this unit does have full suspension, so it's going to give you a really, really smooth ride. Like you're seeing on the screen now, it has four independent suspension coils. The tires are flat-free, non-marking tires, so they're not going to mess up your floors. They're 10.75 inches, the front and the rear tires. It does have two-inch anti-tip wheels in the back as well. Now, if you want to see more specifications, go to our website, download the spec sheet. I'm not going to bore you to death with all the specs, but I will tell you it has a great warranty, lifetime limited warranty on the frame, two years on the drivetrain and the electronics, and a one-year limited warranty on the battery, which is the best as far as manufacturing companies go. Most of them only offer three to six months. So let's go ahead and dive into things. So the front basket is included. It easily comes off. There's nothing to it. There's just some holes on the back and some hooks here that grab onto it. So you can just remove it if you want. It's free. No additional cost for that front basket. Now we're going to come close with the camera here and I'm going to show you the dash. So this is the dash and it's got a key ignition there. You turn it on. You've got a digital display showing you your battery meter, which is easy to read, but also the voltage, which is nice, and a percentage, which makes it extremely easy to know when you're running out of battery. It does have a speed control knob with the tortoise and the hare, so you can limit the top speed. Horn button and a light button. So there is a light on the front and on the rear. Now, if you want, you can grip the handlebars this way, this way, this way. It's got a Delta wraparound tiller and you only need really one hand, right or left, to pull to go forward or push to go backwards with your right, the opposite on the left hand. So you would push forward to go forward or pull back to go back with your left hand. So again, single-handed use, comes with mirrors included, no additional cost, two cup holders, check that out. That's pretty cool. Now you also have a charging port down here like most scooters, okay? So you can control or you can charge it right here. You don't have to bend down. Also, check that out. We're gonna come closer with the camera. USB charging port. So you can charge your cell phone, tablet, headphones, whatever. As long as it's USB powered, you can use this to charge your electronic devices. Now you see this handle right here? This is going to allow you to tilt the entire tiller closer to you or further away from you. Or when you're taking it apart and you're collapsing it to put it in the back of your truck or SUV, you lower it all the way down after you remove the seat and it's completely out of the way. So that's going to wrap up the dash. Now, the floorboard, plenty of... You see the floorboard here has plenty of space. I have a size 12 shoe, okay? And I can easily probably see someone with a 13 size shoe or more going being comfortable in here. You can also put your feet up high. So if you are someone that has really long legs and you're really tall, the handlebar is nowhere near where my knees are. So I, I can imagine someone who's like six foot two, six foot three, their knees aren't gonna be anywhere near the tiller assembly, even if you bring it closer. But obviously, you know, the closer you bring it, the closer it's going to be to your knees. So keep that in mind. It's not it's not for everybody, folks. You know, it's but it is a pretty versatile scooter with a great weight capacity. All right. So, now I'm going to show you how to take this unit apart in case you want to transport it in your truck or SUV. So, first of all, we do have the universal basket in the back installed. I'm going to take it out. There's just a little knob that you loosen and it pulls right out. Now, it does come with this complimentary high visibility safety flag. I'm just going to pull it out. There's a little pocket in the back of the ba uh, backrest for that. And you can put other things in there like, you know, your user manual, your charger, what have you. So I'm just demoing that for you, but I'm gonna go ahead and remove the seat. To remove the seat, it's real easy. You can fold the backrest down. So once you have the backrest folded down, what you wanna do is see the rotation lever? That's what you use to rotate it. You wanna make sure you're holding that rotation lever in the upward position and then pick straight up. Okay, and then we're gonna put that to the side. At this point, what you can do is loosen these little screws, they're hand screws. You don't really need a screwdriver or anything. You just loosen these up. There's two of them. One on the back here on the left, one on the back here on the right. All right, so once those screws are out, you just pop this body panel called a shroud right off. And let's take a look here underneath the hood. We're going to come close with the camera. You've got your two 50 amp hour batteries. Easily disconnects with this little 
clip system. You just depress that right there. Same with the black one. You depress the little clip, pull right out. Batteries are now free. Check out that motor and the wiring, super clean. This is your brake release. If you wanna turn the automatic braking system off, you just move it back and now you can freely roll the scooter. Otherwise, the brakes are always engaged. It's got an automatic braking system. So keep that in mind. From the manufacturer, this comes with a bunch of big zip ties wrapped around the unit. You don't really need those there. It's just gonna prevent the batteries from moving around. But if you wanna take this thing apart, we're gonna show you the process here. I'm gonna unstrap those uh, Velcro straps first. We're gonna cut these zip ties because I wanna show you how to take the scooter apart and you really can't do it without removing these. So we're gonna take these zip ties, cut them, don't need them. All right, now with these uh, straps and zip ties out of the way, we can remove the batteries. Okay, these are 12 volt, 50 amp hour batteries. Okay, so they are a little heavy. I'm guessing around 20 pounds more or less each battery. Getting the zip ties completely out of the way here. And at this point, okay, the unit is stripped down. And what we can do is you see this red lever? I'm gonna grab the seat post, which is height adjustable, by the way. If you remove this bolt, it goes right through. You can lift this up or lower it. And there's different holes. So you can set the height up of the seat higher or lower. But you grab the seat post, grab this red lever, and check this out. Now, what we can do is with the handlebar, we use the lever, fold it all the way down, take the basket out. Here we go, guys. So now the unit is fully disassembled. We've got two batteries, the front half, the rear half, the seat, the battery cover, and the basket if you opt in to buy that. So all in all, this unit is broken down to the point where you could probably have one or two people to pick each piece up. This will be the heaviest piece. And my guess is this is going to be around 45 to 50 pounds just based off of how I feel it, you know, picking it up. The back half, it's going to be a little lighter, probably around 30, 35 pounds. Those are going to be your heaviest pieces. So with that being said, you know, it's really up to you if you think you can transport it or if you want a vehicle lift, we do sell vehicle lifts where it has like an automatic motor that lowers and raises a platform. You would need a heavy duty truck or SUV for that though, like you're seeing on the screen now. If you wanna learn more about those, give our non-commissioned sales experts a call. They'll tell you all about them. They'll figure out what kind of vehicle you have and what would be compatible as far as a vehicle lift. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start putting it back together at this point, folks. And if you have any questions, anything that I'm maybe not covering, leave them in the comment section below. Um, keep in mind, this is a, the point of connection here. So you've got a stud and a little groove on the frame. Same thing on the other side. You wanna line up those little grooves with the studs, make sure that they're perfectly lined up and it should just drop right into place. Pretty convenient, pretty easy to do. I mean, I've done this a bunch of times with different models, so I'd probably make it look a little easier, but essentially, you know, the process is pretty straightforward. Not too many uh, difficult steps involved. I'm gonna reconnect the battery. One battery in. Two batteries, two 12 volt batteries for a 24 volt system. The straps, there's some hooks here in the back. I'm just gonna feed the straps through those, uh, I should call them little uh, holes on the back of the frame for the straps to go through, not hooks. But essentially, it might help to kind of pick the battery up, get it out of the way, fish that strap through the hole, and then tighten. Yeah, definitely. So, sorry about that, folks. This is a brand new model, but if you just move the battery out of the way slightly, you can feed that strap through and pull it and then place the battery back down. Now this battery strap is super thick, so it's more than fine just to use the battery strap. You don't need to have those zip ties there, like I said. Let's keep them nice and tight. Get your, ther er, your uh, terminal protectors back over the terminals so that no moisture gets on those terminals. And at this point, I'm gonna grab the shroud cover, drop it right over the seat post, connect these tabs that are lining up with the holes on the floorboard, 
You're going to want to hear them click. There we go. Once they click in, you just need to screw in these uh, little hand screws in the back. And they are long screws, so sorry, uh, we'll fast forward through this part though. All right, so now that that's in, we wanna make sure that your brake lever is in the engaged position. This would be disengaged, so you can roll it manually if your batteries die. You want your brakes to be locked or else your unit's not gonna work. Now, when you're putting the seat back on, you just wanna make sure that you line up the mail connector with the seat post hole and drop it in, then level out the seat. And you will need to use that rotation lever, pick it up slightly, and then drop it back down. Once it doesn't rotate, you know it's locked in. That's it. Last but not least, get your uh, universal basket. There's your hitch receiver. Slide it in and tighten up that knob to secure it. You're gonna grab our safety flag, stick it in the little threaded hole there. All right, to install the basket, you see these three holes? There's three hooks that are gonna attach into the holes. You'll wanna drop it down a little bit once you got the, the hooks in the holes and it's just gonna click into place. You just pick straight up when you wanna remove it. And that's pretty much it, guys. There's not much else to it. Uh, we are gonna have different videos on this model. We already did an unboxing and review video. Oh, and by the way, something that's kind of, uh, you know, well known about the companions, under the floor mat, you've got a troubleshooting guide so if something's wrong, normally it's gonna beep. Like for example, if I turn the brake system off and then I try to power it on, it's gonna beep. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off so it stops beeping. But here it says five beeps, there's a brake problem. Turn off your scooter, make sure the brake is not in the disengaged position, turn the scooter back on. That's how you solve that problem. You've got some safety tips, your serial number, all conveniently located right there. And also, by the way, where we're down here, there is a breaker reset button here. So if you are going on a hill that's really steep, or let's say you're exceeding the maximum weight capacity and you're just overworking it, the breaker will trip. Just like when your house gets struck by lightning, you'll have to turn the breaker back on. So just push that button to see if it works if your scooter's not turning on. All right, guys, well, again, I'm Sergio with Mobility Direct. This is the companion four-wheel scooter. If we missed anything or if you have any questions, put them in the comment section. We reply to every comment within one business day. I also wanted to tell you about our giveaway. All you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment. You're automatically entered into the giveaway. We give away a free mobility scooter or power wheelchair once a month. You're already here, so what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button, leave a comment, and you could be the next lucky winner like the last few winners you're seeing on the screen now. Just wanna say thank you so much for supporting our YouTube channel, watching our videos. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, everyone, have a great day.